Oh my gosh, guys. Do you know what's going on? Do you know, do you know where we are? We are in the final week of Robots in Disguise episodes. Yes, after this week of reactions and reviews, there will be no more Robots in Disguise episodes until 2017. My god, I I feel like I feel like this is a big moment. I feel like I'm like at the end of a journey with you guys. Well, not at the end because more episodes, but yeah, like for this year. I mean, I've been doing this since June and now we're here. It's October and we're about to finish what we have of the series so far, like completely. I just Wow. God. I've come a long way from the early days of Im poorly imitating Peter Cullen. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here for episode four of the TV event um, for Robots in Disguise titled Mighty Big Trouble. And um, this is exciting. This week is exciting because, I guess because the special has aired in its entirety in Canada, now the full-length episodes are on YouTube. Like, before, they were being taken down, and now they're up. So YouTube is a much easier platform for me to get these episodes from. So thank you to YouTube user Angelina Pax for uh, posting these episodes full-length. You're a wonderful human being. And, uh, yeah, uh, thank you <laughs> for uploading these episodes. So uh, let's not wait any longer, because I'm just as excited as you guys. Let's get started. Boom. This trouble is going to be big. Those fridges are gonna be big! No, they're normal sized fridges. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. How was Egypt? Our mission was a success. We covered Grimlock and Sand. A souvenir from the pyramids. Ah, this is indeed the relic. What? What is it? Relic, the satellite imagery located. It had to be dug from the sand, of which there was a great deal. Man, to going to Egypt, going to temples, saving minicons? Are we sure this is not Armada? <laughs> Caution, please. We have yet to identify the relic and its capabilities. Sorry. Students, I require Claw trap pops out of the sand and they're like, What have you done to the humans? And he's like, I ate them. Yes, master. They were tasty too. Oh look, giant substream and jet store next to the humans again. Wonder how long it'll take them to shrink again. Sorry. Again. That was a this thing fix it. it it's it a Russian a egg. P generator. High energy pulse generators produce short, intense energy bursts that can disrupt if not destroy a bot's neural nets. This device could fry your brain. So the thing you were swinging around and that you dropped is activated. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> oh um To be fair, it wasn't him. Even though he tried as hard as he could to turn us all into vegetables, it was the Minicon's fault. Nice job. I, I didn't actually see which one it was. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Somebody pointed out in the comments that Windblade is now absent from the opening. Like, it's the same opening, but now Windblade is not in the lineup at the end. You can see a little bit of her, though, in the clip where they say Optimus' name. Show Optimus' name, because the door opens and, like, she's standing behind him. So you can see a bit of her, but... You know what? Just stay here and die. No, you fool! That'll make you go off faster! Oh, or not. Let's go. We went through a lot of trouble recovering that generator. You'd rather have had your brain fried? I mean, yeah, he saved your life. You should be annoyed at the mini cons for setting it off. What does it take to disarm a high energy pulse generator? Answer. Kazap! <laughs> we heard that. It was most insulting. Directing your jokes toward the three of us grows tiresome. Oh, you little guys are so cute when you get offended. Um, does this count as racism? <laughs> Ow. You're so cute when you're offended. Yeah, little people hate it when you do that. for <laughs> you. Oh, come on, fix it. I was just busting your bearings like always. Two clods walking around like she's one clod. <laughs> the line this time you blew it up with a bunker buster tactical explosive and turned the surrounding area into an uninhabitable irradiated wasteland i think you better okay uh you need to <laughs> chill cool it with the metaphor strong arm but seriously sideswipe you are bad and you should feel bad it's just a joke god freaking midgets getting all heat up about stuff that doesn't even matter what could it possibly be to salvage here just make sure this is the uncrewed automated vessel unit tracking. 
then shut down the Seriously, I, we reach our the cool guy voice doesn't work if you're coming out of Clampdown's model. Whatever it is, Look at you fucking green-ass crab. Than anything we found yet. Oh look, a yellow guy with a pointy head. Haven't seen him yet. This is the first time I've actually seen heard Thermidor's voice clearly since episode 3 was lower quality. The recording was. He sounds piratey. My god, it's such a revelation. It's I am ready. You think you're Yoda or something? You should buy this. You should buy this. So you won't get any bright ideas about making off with our loot. Oh, there's a lot more of them than I thought. What? I'm not good enough for you? No. You might want to remember you signed on to my crew. That means you were Wow, your head is really big, yellow guy. I sell you to whatever it is you're running from. He's fucking blackmailing them. Claw trap is the worst. I thought you'd see it my way. Engine stopped. We've reached the coordinates. Keep an eye on our crew. I don't want any mutinies. Dive and start digging. <laughs> I'll stay up here then. Every moment we remain on this planet, we are in greater danger. When do we make our move? When the time is right. That is not an answer. <laughs> like tonight, in an hour, tomorrow morning. Applesauce day? Oh. <laughs> Any sign of Optimus approaching Earth on Ominous purple there. sword in the middle of the ocean. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I hope so. I can't shake the feeling there's something bigger going on with these strange minicons we've been counting. <gasps> no! Minicons? I was thinking... Uh-oh, Strongarm was thinking. This won't end well. Haven't you made enough enemies for one day? We're past all that, right, buddy bot? You still haven't apologized, so no, we are not past it. <sighs> I'm sorry, or whatever. I guess. No, you need a better apology. <laughs> Is it too late now to say I'm sorry? No, but you need to say it like good. <laughs> With sincerity. Say it like you mean it! To be fair, saying that to little children is a way to guarantee that they will not say it like they mean it. But to be fair again, Sideswipe is not a little child. He is a teenager. Grow the fuck up! How am I swimming? I am the sword wheeling crab. It's the dark saber. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? It wasn't called the dark star saber because that would be stupid. No, it be mine. You want an up close look? Ha! He's the one holding it. What do you mean it be mine? <laughs> like clearly not. You sense any evil or sickness emanating from that blade? They're taking the ship! <laughs> Bye! Those little ingrates. Well, after you mistreated them and smacked them around all day long? Oh, there he is! Oh, yes! There will be plenty of time for bowing and scraping. Now, <laughs> where are my... Many cons. Ah, uh, they just. Uh... <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Oh, he sounds so good. Oh, and look at the colors. You want to know where they are, huh? Maybe we can make a deal. I asked you where they are. I expect to be told. That is the deal. Oh, an insecticon. Like an actual insecticon, not like a cricket. What is it you're so eager to? <gasps> <laughs> I'm just standing on it. It's mine. What? It was forged by Megatron. How appropriate. With the minicons, I can take the revenge I seek on my old master. But with this as well, I can conquer galaxies. Wait, you want revenge on Megatron? Well, you have to find him first. He fucked off to screw Youville. Population him. Oh. What? Saber resists me. It's Dark Star Saber tied to Megatron's spark. You wanted a deal. He doesn't deal want you. Even though Starscream did spark. use Dark Energon, so. Screw it a time. You're too late. 
those little traitors have abandoned ship. Yeah, that's what you say to him to not get cut into little pieces. Forget the mini guns. With a sword like that, you got all the power you need. Just pay us. Get on with the conquering you want to do. Not yet. <laughs> Just pay us. He paid them. <laughs> that's why they're here. This thing is too much power. Not as long as there's more to be had. Rough edge. My <laughs> ship down from all. Never satisfied. That's our star scream. Scan for the mini cons energy signature. No star scream. They can't be far. Your chin is pointy as hell. Dudes, so you gotta open cans with that chin. Not gonna happen again. Hey, I'm sorry, but you know it was funny. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know I don't care about your problems. Star screams here. You are insignificant. You and your pompadour. By the way, but no, it has to be a proper apology. I saw this movie once. Remorse helps. Flowers in a poem. No, don't you inflict this on us. The cons were reluctant to assist those Decepticons, their ally. It almost seems. Good job, strong arm. You can almost read basic storytelling cues. There is a symbiosis between the minicon and its host. The host is powered up, but we have no data as to how this surge occurs or under what parameters. Strong as it uh, was, magic? I feel like the surge wasn't complete. Like the minicon was holding back. Could be all kinds of reasons, Lieutenant. I mean, who knows what the minicon's true agenda is? They're running away from Starscream. Oh, there's a bird here. Who can see infrared? That's nice. <laughs> Fucking the our bitch ass security system could be taken out by a pigeon. Find the Cybertronian technology our sensors detected here. Let's do it. Why didn't they leave Earth? I thought they have a ship. This planet in our rear scanners. I'll keep an eye out for the scavengers. So they're stealing from the people who have been nice to them. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> they're so mad! <laughs> what do you expect from a bot with no manners? You're a spoiled, lazy crybaby, and you have no manners. Do you have something that sounds like a metal bird? Oh, it's a shark. Hideki! Must notify our master. Surely we can handle one intruder. Okay, can't you call Drift and then handle the intruder? You're doing the going behind his back thing again? I thought you agreed not to do that. You got him though. Ah! Ah! Oh god! We represent the lollipop. Ah! Something about triumph, slipstream? Yeah, I was saying how we're totally gonna kick these guys' asses! <laughs> Excuse you! Guy we've never seen before. It's so weird that, like, we were introduced to the minicons, like, one at a time, and we got to know them and their powers and stuff, and then, like, out of nowhere, like, four extra guys show up. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Seriously, <laughs> call them? <laughs> Hello? You're outnumbered. Decepticons are bad. I'm so very sorry that I made you angry. I couldn't think of anything that rhymes with bad. What? Has Sideswipe sustained injury to his cranial casing? Hello, <laughs> the tiny little flower. They went from being mad at him to seriously, dude, are are you okay? We have multiple do, do you need <laughs> Do you need a coffee? To the other side of the scrapyard. They drive three yards. We're here. <laughs> hey, no, no. Drop, drop. Crispin, you drop. <laughs> hey. <laughs> His flappy angel wings. Nice, Drift, just mow everyone down. 20 points! It's exponential. 
Did you hurt my babies? Did you push down my kid on the playground? Don't let them leap into your hands. It's how they take control. No, it doesn't work on Grimlock though. At least it didn't work with that one guy. Don't know if it won't work with all of them. We're supposed to just accept it won't work with all of them. Oh shit! What did he say about the hands? Or the crotch? Keep your crotch away from his horns also. Man, they're used to this. Whoa, these are some mighty minis. I recognize you. What is it all of you are after? And are those scavengers with you? No, no, not the hand! Hold me! Huh? <laughs> Look at DB smile when he pries his hand up and like, mm. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Matrix dodge! Or, no, he hit him. <laughs> also, he had a serious underbite there that he's like never had before. <laughs> Dislocate his jaw. Yeah, that's... We're both dinos. I don't know. But listen, Dashbreaker. I don't think the big dino is an enemy. <laughs> because we're both dino? I don't know. It's this Combiner Wars method of explanation. I don't know. Just whatever, man. <laughs> Damn it. Everyone, wear mittens. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel. Don't, uh... Lieutenant Bumblebee, status report. If you can hear me, please respond. God, I love the bright colors. It's, it's like, I think the episodes on YouTube are higher res than I'm usually seeing. Or maybe the animation is just better, because these visuals are really popping. No, 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 no! <laughs> what do you turn into? Richie Rich? Ew. Come on, Canada. Don't, don't do that. Don't inflict that on your youth. Big sword. Oh, there you all are. You're glowing. You, if you need me, I'll be vacationing on Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is the star uh, closest to the solar system, I believe. Wait. You can't. Please. We only came for the high energy pulse generator. We I don't think you can. Um... You want the... I'm afraid it was destroyed. Thank no! Oh, it's not here. Oh, bye then. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? Why are they all tired? They're like all lethargic now. They won't. The thing they want is is worthless. I suggest we retreat to the command center before. It's Starscream again. Oh god, no! Many cards, just what we were looking for. Those aren't the right Time ones. To get paid. Those aren't the right ones. <sighs> well, on the bright side, we got more hands-on experience with this new breed of minis. Don't say hands-on. Fix it. Looks like we lost them. Any track on their energy signatures? <laughs> fix it. Come in, fix it. Fix it. Are you screwing with me again? Back to base. I have a bad feeling about this. Quoting Star Wars. Oh, a line continuity. You never disappoint. You almost never disappoint. <laughs> I was moving forward. <laughs> what did you? Do you want to go faster? You could have just said so. Where are we anyway? Your configuration does not match the visual references in my database. Have you been working out? <laughs> Just like you ordered, Starscream. I'm curious. Where did you capture them, Shade Knock? At the Lost and Found Depository? <laughs> you brought me the wrong minicons. Well, well, I'm sorry. Minicons. You said minicons. I'm, here they are. See, other minicons departed Denny Clay's scrapyard just before Denny Clay. Is he your superior officer? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Fix it! <laughs> Shut up! Bumble, bumble, bumble. Normally talking way too much is Starscream's thing. Bumblebee is here. Bumblebee! Who? Oh no. This just gets better and better. First I get a sword, then I get that yellow guy. 
Then I get not the many cons I wanted, but don't worry, the day's not over yet. They're gone. All three of them. Decepticons took them, B. They came through a ground bridge just after you left. That means the Minicons could be anywhere. I didn't even get a chance to apologize to them. Or figure out how to apologize. You'll still have your chance. Oh, is he here now? Oh, yes, 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 yes! Well, that doesn't look like a ground bridge, though. What is that? Oh, he's calling them. Hello, Bumblebee. Nice to see me, isn't it? Who are you? Scream? But we thought you were. Yes, I'm sure you did. Your minicons are with me, and they're functional. We're having a tea party. Or I shall... oh, oh, okay. Hold on, Daddy. What do you want? You. Ah, uh, this is really Lay sudden. Down your weapon and surrender to me, or your minicons will pay the price. I don't think that's a good idea. But the minicons. No, Bumblebee, hold on. What are you doing? Lieutenant, no! I can't let the Minicons suffer. Oh, so noble. They'll sing songs. Such heroic nonsense. Gone, Bumblebee. So that tomorrow. Songwriting starts tomorrow. Oh gosh, I don't like this. We'll go with you. Bumblebee? Yeah, there's two episodes after this. Fix it! Trap me signal! Oh. <laughs> I can't pop, Sandswipe! If my students and Fixit are harmed, there is no place in the galaxy where Starscream will be safe from me. Remember, Drift used to be a Decepticon. He knows how to do the rage thing. This isn't some average con we're dealing with. It's Starscream. The four of us aren't experienced enough or equipped to... We could bring in RC. She'll kick his candy ass. Contact coming in by air. Might be Starscream looking to finish the job. On guard, team. I bet he's too busy writing a speech. And then he'll, like, mess up his note cards and... It's Optimus! A few minutes earlier would have been nice! <laughs> Speaking of better equipped, have you noticed how big my pauldrons are? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, Starscream always oh, sounds so good. Oh, he looks so good. He's so pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, but okay, I feel like the plot has really picked up here. But Starscream, this might be weird to say, but Starscream seems to be more... Okay, I don't know how many of you have read, read like the Windblade comics, where Starscream is a recurring character in that, and he's sort of an antagonist, but also one of the protagonists. Like, he's got like this weird masochistic relationship with Star Windblade. Not a romantic relationship, but like they work together a lot, and they're always trying to backstab each other. And I remember reading like for that comic, they intentionally wrote Starscream as sexually aggressive. And like, I kind of got that vibe from him here too. Like, obviously they're Transformers, they're not having any sex. Like, that's not what I mean. But like when he, like Bumblebee asks him, what do you want? What do you want? And he goes, you. <laughs> like, he didn't mean it that way, but it kind of like, like Bumblebee had to placidly walk into the ground bridge, presumably to his doom because Starscream called him in. You know, it's like, it's weird. Um, Starscream being presented as, um, a real threat, again, carries that same aura from Prime like Sandwich did. The other thing with Starscream is that he wasn't... Starscream was a threat in the original, but he was also kind of a joke. Like, he was a comedic character, not all the time, and there were moments when he was genuinely scary. We'll never forget, and he will never let us forget, that the first casualty in Prime was from him when, you know, he killed that one guy. What was his name? But, um... Uh... Here, it's like, he's just, like, a genuinely a threat, and everyone is scared of him, and he's, like, got, like, these big scary mooks, and he's, like, very composed and suave, and it's like, it's, I think being away from Megatron has really done a wonders on Starscream's self-esteem, <laughs> and the fact that he's calling for revenge on Megatron, when before he swore to avenge Megatron, is, like, I feel like he's realized that, like, now that he's gotten away and he's had some time, and the Stockholm Syndrome has kind of worn off, and he's like, you know what? Megatron! Tron can go fuck himself. <laughs> as soon as I find him, I'm going to do 
Well, before I would do nothing to him, but now I've got a big couple swords, so, mm. Um, I love the moment where, like, Starscream puts his foot down, he realizes he's standing on the dark saber. he's like, whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, Starscream. I love him. Um, the minor plot with, um, Sideswipe, uh, offending the minicons and struggling to apologize, I... That's a good plot, but I wish it had been a different episode, because in light of Starscream's arrival and thing, and shit getting really real, it seems like it's being drowned out. And that's a good message for kids to learn, to, like, say the importance of saying sorry. Uh, something that a lot of adults still struggle with, like, way more than they should, or it should be possible to struggle with. So, like, uh, the importance of a good apology is a good lesson, but it gets overshadowed vastly by this... But like a vast predatory bird <laughs> by Starscream, who, by the way, looks terrific. <laughs> As I mentioned, I can't get over it. Oh, that voice and that design. I love it. Okay, so that was Mighty Big Trouble. Uh, next episode will be in a few days, and then we will wrap up this puppy, and it'll be so much fun. I cannot wait. This is Dragkeeper. I'm so excited. I can't even remember my username. It's Dragkeeper96600 signing off.